Hello, I'm Julia and welcome to another vlog here at The Cozy Chaotic. It is almost the end of 2023. My last video was a writing reset vlog. So now that we've reset, I want to take a moment to recharge. I am a firm believer that writing, creating, it should all be fun. The best way to tell good stories is to experience a life with good stories. So today we are going to go on an adventure. A solo date day, if you will. I'm completely alone today. It's the afternoon, so here's what I'm thinking. There's this very popular book on creativity called The Artist's Way. And in it, they encourage you every single week to go on a solo artist date. It's essentially a solo expedition to explore something that interests you and really recharge your creativity. I think this is a really exciting way to push yourself out of your comfort zone while also reminding you that writing is a part of your life. It's not supposed to be sucking away from your joy. So here's how I want to push myself. I don't drive. I have a license, but I stopped driving after a health scare a couple of years ago and have been a little bit anxious picking it back up now that I live in the city. Luckily, I'm able to walk most places and I get rides from my boyfriend, but I really want to explore our public transit system here. I've taken the metro buses a handful of times, but I'm always really anxious about it, and so it kind of holds me back from going places I'd like to go on days like this where I'm alone. And one of the things I haven't explored is our city's rail system. While it's pretty limited, we have trains that can take you from different destinations, and I live a pretty close walk from one of the pickups. Before, I've been anxious to take it, and I've stopped myself because, oh, it's easier to just Uber, or do I really need to leave the house anyway? And today, yes, we are leaving the house, we're going to be taking this commuter train, and we're going to one of my favorite places in the whole world, Kino Kinua. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's this lovely Japanese bookstore in Austin. It's by the 99 Ranch Mart, the Daiso. So I'm going to treat myself to a little bit of book shopping, explore Daiso a little bit, maybe get something to eat really prove to myself that I can be in charge of these solo expeditions. And then I'm gonna come home, get writing, get creating. Might even do a writing sprint while I'm out there. So it is a packed itinerary and we really need to get going. Come on.
a day. That was truly an adventure. Oh, you want to see what I got? So in all honesty, I didn't do as much shopping as I had anticipated. I would love to get a pen pal this year. I'm really looking to do handwritten letters, really play around with different stickers, washi tape. I wanted to even try wax sealing. First I went to Daiso because I knew that Kinokinu was gonna be a little bit more expensive for things like that. So here's what I got there. I got this adorable sticker sheet. It's different foods, little Belgian waffles, thought it was really adorable. And I couldn't resist, I got myself this little pair of scissors, but it's a bear and it's a magnet so I can stick it onto something and have scissors handy. I feel like I'm always needing scissors and I can never find them for some reason, even though I do own like five pairs, but I don't own any pairs that look like a bear. Not stationary related, but I got these socks. They're fuzzy, aesthetic, stretchy socks and they're knee highs. I feel like I haven't ever seen this plush, fuzzy socks that you wear at home in like a taller sock, taller sock. So I'll have to try those on today. I'm super excited to celebrate the Lunar New Year this year. It is actually gonna be my year, year of the dragon. So I got some red envelopes and I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. I mean, look at these. I couldn't help it. I had to, I had to. And it came with five, which I thought was pretty decent. And then this next one, also not related, but it's a cozy craft. It's ever so trendy capybara. It's a felting kit, so a little handcraft. You poke in little pieces of felt and make different shapes. You see he's munching on some food, has a bow tie. I just, I can't wait to work on it. I think it's gonna be a perfect cozy night in activity, though I will say it is two out of three stars. I don't know what that means in terms of difficulty. And in total on all that, I only spent $10. So I think that's pretty good personally. Then after that, I went to Kino Kinua and I kind of had these grand plans to buy stationary kits and wax stamp kits and one set of wax melts for the little like letter seals was $18, I think. And then I would have had to also have bought the thing to melt it with and the stamp and I just, I couldn't justify spending like $50 on some stationery. That said, it was still definitely worth going. There was a miniature set there that's like a little bookend. I already have two of them and I really wanna add this one to my collection. So might be saving up for that one. I'm really proud of myself. I went to eat all by myself, went shopping, learned to ride the train, even though I had that little fumble there at the end. But that led to a great writing sprint and another source of inspiration. I know that I am very lucky when I can just accidentally get off at the wrong stop and then think, oh wait, I live in a great place that has great coffee shops and then just look it up and instantly find a coffee shop that I've been wanting to check out for a long time, two minutes walking away. And it was lovely. It had a beautiful interior, exterior, little garden. It was a great spot for a quick writing sprint and overall just such a cozy bookish day. I think there were many benefits to a day like this. You know, the ultimate end goal was to get creatively refreshed but also it gave me an opportunity to feel independent right before the new year. I am definitely a homebody. And while I love staying at home, sometimes that is a little bit too comfortable. It is very tempting to not go anywhere. And I live in a beautiful city, so I need to take advantage of what there is to see here. Well, my driving thing is its own issue that's gonna need to be tackled on its own. Sometimes, you know, I actually might be using that as a crutch not to go places when I'm alone. It is nerve wracking going out in public by yourself. I also realized I probably shouldn't have like brought my backpack with everything and then decided to walk around a bunch of stores, especially while trying to film. I think I looked pretty suspicious, but luckily everyone was very nice. Also, I noticed being out by myself, I got approached a lot more. Sometimes that freaks me out, but sometimes that means approached by uh, creepy people. Luckily, I was mainly approached by like just other people like me who were either going on their own little day adventure or wanting to make small talk in line. Wow, am I out of practice for small talk? But you know, that's what this is for, to push me. All in all, I'm proud of myself and I hope you all are too. And now to reward myself, I get a cozy night in. We have a couple of options. So I do have this capybara, though admittedly, 
that might take more effort than I'm ready for right now. I have some cozy games I've been wanting to look at. I wanna keep listening to my audiobook. I got these Lego sets for Christmas. Obviously, I'm not gonna do all that right now. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can subscribe to the channel for more cozy nights like this and also more writing sprints. But for now, I think what we're gonna do is one of those botanical Lego sets. I got this adorable cherry blossom bonsai from my boyfriend's family, so I wanna build that. Let's get cozy. Finished everything from bag one. So I got a cute little bonsai tree base. Now I kind of want a sweet treat. We did it. We finished my first gorgeous Lego set. You can see it up here. I did think it was a little bit funny. So the little cherry blossom blooms, there are some flowers, but most of it is pink frog Legos, which I thought was creative and interesting. It was a choice. <laughs> um, but it also came with the option to change it out for just like a green bonsai. So maybe I'll do that later and switch it out. But for now, I'm really proud of myself. I thought that was really fun. Also, I love that Legos now are becoming a thing kind of for the, the cozy girlies. Reminds me of the rise of cozy gaming. As people that were historically excluded from a specific kind of male dominant space now are stepping back into it and making it their own. I love being a geeky girl. And if you're interested in learning more about the cozy gaming thing, I did make a video essay on it. Subtle plug. But really my point is just that it feels very good to embrace this nerdy thing that I feel like I was kind of dragged away from because it wasn't a particularly feminine activity. And instead of going and being like, oh, I'm gonna build the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, not like there's anything wrong with that. I can't afford that anyway. But instead it's tailored to my aesthetic. I had my audiobook going the whole time. I was listening to When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill and I have about three hours of it left, so I'm pretty close to the end here. I'm not entirely sure if I'd recommend. I think I was just a little bit disappointed based off of how this book was marketed. So I saw it as being fantasy sci-fi, 
And I would really say that it was more historical fiction with like a fantastical element to it. Basically, it's set in 1950s America and women by the thousands have started transforming into dragons. A very feminist story about the oppression of women and also the ways that their power have been limited in certain ways throughout history and systematically. The part that I thought was the most interesting is it starts out following basically a young child's perspective and it shows her looking at her mom kind of critically. And then you kind of watch how society pushes her into becoming like her mom and kind of coming to this point of understanding. Interesting social commentary, but it didn't really feel like a fun fantasy story for me. I don't know. I think I just wasn't in the right headspace going in. And I'm not even a huge fantasy girly. I'll say it. I said it. That said, I'm still gonna finish it and it was really enjoyable to listen to while doing something with my hands. I spend so much time on a computer that sometimes I think I forget that I am a tangible being, a part of a actual world of physical things. Even doing something like building a Lego kit kind of helps me feel grounded into the real world. Like I said, I have three hours left of that audiobook. It is 9.30 now, so you know, I'd love to say that I won't finish it today and I'm gonna get a good amount of sleep, but I'm probably gonna finish it today. But here's what I'm thinking next. A bubble bath, maybe a little bit of wine. Oh my gosh, I never ate those cookies. I made cookies and I never ate them. Okay, I, I guess I, can you reheat cookies? I don't know. So I guess I'll be eating those cold cookies now, drawing myself a lovely bath and listening to the rest of my audiobook. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what kind of other videos you want to see in the comments and let's call it a night.